Next is the urogenital culture, and this happens to be the cervix. For urogenital, we're using blood agar plate, and this is considered to be a useful flora of the urogenital. Besides the blood agar plate, we're using <coughs> chocolate agar. And of course, chocolate agar supports the growth of uh, Neisseria meningitidis and Neisseria gonorrhea. But this is not a typical colony of Neisseria meningitidis. The reason why I can tell is because when I open the uh, Thayer Martin agar, there's no growth. Nothing but Neisseria gonorrhea and Neisseria meningitidis will show up. Uh, here. The other organisms will be inhibited because this is a highly selective medium. It has antibiotics and also antifungal uh, drug in it. The last one for urogenital culture is the human bilayer twin 80 medium. Now, this is a bilayer, as I've said. This is the one that supports the growth of Gardnerella vaginalis. Gardnerella vaginalis are tiny organisms that you'll see in here. They'll grow everywhere. And uh, you'll see a beta hemolysis on HBT, but not on the sheep agar, blood, blood agar plate. Because this is a human agar. Gardnerella vaginalis will only lyse human blood, but not sheep's blood.